Word around town is Sneaker Throne has some of the best sneaker display cases on the market. I just started building out my second sneaker office and I've been using extra containers from the container store and I'm telling you right now, I hate them. I wear a size 13 and my shoes just don't fit in those and I always have to put them on their sides and that's what damages my shoes. So I ordered a bunch of cases, two different colors, black and white, and I wanna see what they look like and we are gonna test it out together. So let's go ahead and crack these things open, put these things together and display them on the wall. Welcome back to the channel. What's up with you guys? How you doing? How you been? If you did not know by now, my name is DJ and this is the DNA Show. Hey. Now, if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button, smash the like button, because that helps the algorithm oh so much. So now it's time to put these packages together. I need to crack this box open. This is a six pack inside of this box. I'm gonna show you how to put one together, and then we'll time lapse and put all of them together real quick, and then go upstairs and start putting them in the display. So let's get into it. <sighs> Oh. Okay, so each individual pack comes with two inside of that box. So this container comes equipped with six different pieces. For step one, we're gonna take the side pieces right here, which is the side piece A. And then we're gonna take the side piece C right here. This is the back piece. We're gonna stick these all together first. So we're gonna pop this in here. And we'll pop this one in here. And now you have your main foundation of it. And then we're gonna take the bottom piece, which is here. It has a groove at the bottom of it. We're gonna stick that down. There's an open side here at the front. We're gonna put that in. We're gonna pop these in right here into that groove. You'll hear it click. Then we're gonna stick the top piece on. And then we have the container together right here. And then what we need to do is put this front piece onto here. So we're gonna stick that here down into this groove. Then we're gonna pop it in right there and now you have the hinge and the magnets where it closes open and close and it's actually a pretty simple process so as you can see that's how long it's going to take to do one i had to slow it down just a little bit to show you but we got to get through the rest of these so let me hurry up and get through these and i'll see you guys in a minute We are done. We are complete. It's done. Whew. Let's get upstairs. Let's take these things and put them on the wall. Let's see what it looks like. I'm excited. Bruh, this is about to be dope. So now we're inside the room and we have a total of 24 black and 24 white. That's going to give you 48 containers all together. We need to figure out how we're going to set the pattern with these two colors. I did pick both colors because I wasn't sure which one I wanted to go with, with the dominant color. And I wanted to show you guys there are two different options with black and white and that's something that you can choose for your own room and your personal preference now for me i gotta kind of get creative with this i might do a little pattern with some different rows with different colors maybe a checkerboard style who knows stick around to the end of the video and see what the final result is going to be but for right now we need to take these and put them in these Now see, this is the hard part right here. When you got the reds and the blues and everything like that, and then you got your off colors and you try to figure out where to put them at on the wall. So right now I'm just gonna put them inside the containers. Once I get the wall moved over here, take the picture down, it's gonna be a lot easier for me to figure it out. But right now I'm struggling. I knew it was bound to happen. So 
here is a look at the wall. I decided to split it up half and half. And I also put the blue shoes on one side and the red on the other. Drop a comment down below and let me know what you think about these in the comment section. If you're interested in getting the same containers like this, I have a link for you in the description also pinned in the comment section. And don't forget to use the discount code DNA Show, and that will get you an additional 10% off of your order. One thing that I really love about these containers is I'm able to finally display my sneakers and see every single shoe and kind of get a perspective on what I have in my collection. Not to mention, when somebody walks into the room and they see everything displayed on the wall, they're going to be like, damn, look at all them shoes. I still haven't decided if I like the black or the white more. I think they both look very, very dope and very clean. I might switch up the pattern and try the checker box style as well. Yeah, this is Loki trash. I think the other way is Loki better, huh? Yeah, I'm tripping. Let's get back to the video. I'm gonna take some individual shots for IG and see which one I like the most. And then from there, I'm gonna go ahead and get some more to fill out the wall with the proper color that I really want. Typically, when you get a dope sneaker wall like this, you gotta show it off, you gotta take some pictures, and you gotta post stuff on IG, Twitter, different things like that. So what I'm gonna do next is take a couple photos and show you guys and let you see what I would be posting on IG. Let you guys make your comments down below in the comment section, and who knows, I might post some of these on my Instagram as well. So let's take some shots and see what we come up with. So what do you guys think? Were any of those pictures post-worthy? Let me know down below in the comment section. Did you like image one, image two, image three, or image four? Let me know. I'm excited to hear what you think. Actually, you know what? I'm going to tally up you guys' votes, and whichever photo you guys like the most, I'm going to post that one on my IG. Okay. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you guys are interested in these, don't forget to check out the link down below in the description, and don't forget to use that discount code DNA Show. That's going to get you 10% off as well. Don't forget to shoot me a DM on Instagram, and let me see what your sneaker wall looks like. It's so dope to see how everybody displays their sneakers. I'm excited to see yours as well. All right, you guys. My name is DJ. I'm signing out. I got to go. I'm gone. Peace. Shout out to each and every one of you guys that stuck around to the end of the video. Drop a comment down below and you could potentially be the comment winner of the day. The question of the day today is going to be, what is your favorite Air Jordan 1 colorway? Let me know in the comment section. Also, if you're interested in growing your sneaker collection and you wanna have a bunch of Jordan 1s like that or you wanna have a crazy sneaker wall or get X amount of shoes or start making extra money from the side, go ahead and consider the Hobby to Hustle course. I have that link down below in the description as well. In the course, I'm gonna teach you all the things that I have learned over the past 15 years from buying to selling to growing a business to growing a following, whatever it may be, growing your collection, making extra money on the side, however you wanna consider it. I'm gonna help you learn all the things that I I have learned over the years. Also, you're gonna have private access to the Facebook group with all the members that are in the course. And this course is filled with videos and text, so many examples, so many things for you guys to learn from. And I'm excited to have you in it as well and join the other members that are in the course. So if you are interested, I've been getting a lot of questions about it. Check out the link down below in the description. That way you can get signed up and ready to go. And I'll see you guys in the course. Now it's my time to go. I'm out, peace.